February 20th, Jake Peavy. Welcome to 365 Christian Men, where every day we aim to inspire and encourage with real life stories about men. In June 2002, Jake played his first professional baseball game with the San Diego Padres. During his career, he played for the Chicago White Sox, the Boston Red Sox, and the San Francisco Giants. But long before he was a professional baseball player, when he was just seven years old, Jake devoted his life to God. He once said, God is the reason that I believe I'm able to do what I do. There's no way I can tell you that on my own I can go out and be able to perform in some of these stadiums and some of these atmospheres. But for some reason, I believe that I am here, that he has a calling on my life and has allowed me to have the talent. Here's today's story. Sometimes a curveball knocks you down. Let it teach you how to get back up. In the year 2016, San Francisco Giants spring training opened with Jake Peavy leading the charge. Peavy was the team's three-time All-Star, two-time world champion, and winner of the 2007 Cy Young Award for the best pitcher in the National League. As the smell of newly mowed grass and the crack of the bat filled the air, Jake got the news that someone, a friend, had used his retirement account to fund a Ponzi scheme. He reeled from the broken trust and the loss of friendship. His 2016 season became an avalanche of depositions, lawyers, and numbers he didn't fully understand. Jake had to take part in conference calls, sometimes hours before taking the mound. He frequently had to leave the team between his scheduled pitching days to give depositions and meet with lawyers, FBI agents, and investigators from the Securities and Exchange Commission. All he could do was compartmentalize things take his turn on the mound, and focus on the scripture he had written under the bill of his cap. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. When the baseball season finally ended, Jake headed home to get away from it all, only to find divorce papers. Papers that shattered what he had treasured most, family life with his four boys. It rips your soul out, Jake said. Now Jake made the decision that it was time for a change in his life. The last year of my life presented challenges I didn't foresee. It's something I've embraced. It's been refreshing in a lot of ways. It was time to be more involved where I was gonna spend the rest of my life. Jake left baseball behind with a new focus on his sons, his family, his love of music, and his generosity to others through the Jake PV Foundation, helping underprivileged youngsters and veterans. To the world, Jake Peavy may be a two-time World Series champion, but to disadvantaged kids, military veterans, and his family, he's a world-class hero. Sitting on a bench with a bunch of kids, he coaches them. There's gonna be times when you get hurt and get knocked down, but you gotta get back up. There's gonna be times in life when you're gonna wanna quit. What are we gonna do? We're gonna keep going. Jake speaks, from his firsthand experience. 2 Corinthians 4, 8 and 9 says, We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed. What message will you put under the bill of your cap? Sometimes a curveball knocks you down. Let it teach you how to get back up. Executive Director of 365 Christian Men. Today is February 20th, and our story is about Jake Peavy. Have you ever dreamed of something your entire life to see that dream fulfilled and then see things crash around you? We're familiar with a term called the curveball. We've probably used it before, that expression that says, uh, somebody threw me a curveball. We know what that means. We know that that means something unexpected happened in life that surprised us. This is a story today about a man who was betrayed by the people closest to him. Talk about a curveball. talk about a surprise. But here's the thing about Jake, and here's the thing that I would challenge each of us with as men. When life throws you a curveball, what are you gonna do about it? 
Here's what Jake did. Jake started a foundation to help young people. He took the curveball that he experienced and he turned it into a life lesson. And not just for himself, but for others. You know, the experiences that you have, painful or not, if you will allow God to use those, God can turn them around for great good, not only in your life, but in the lives of others. So that's my challenge, guys. If life's thrown you a curveball, take the curveball and use it to be a blessing. Have a great day.